Walter Isaacson's new book, The Codebreaker, tells an amazing story. It's about how Jennifer Doudna and other scientists discovered a new way to edit DNA. Editing DNA with precision has been a holy grail for scientists for decades. The DNA, of course, encodes all of the biological functions. And so some of the mistakes in DNA cause disease, genetic disease. If we could go in and fix those mistakes, we could save many, many lives and get rid of these diseases. CRISPR is a very fascinating tool. You figure out a part of the DNA sequence that you want to change. Then you take the DNA that's nearby and create a guide in RNA. So that helps you locate the position. And then you link this CAS enzyme, which has the ability to do that cut and edit. And so pulling together this guiding RNA and this CAS enzyme, editing uh, becomes possible. Our foundation is funding work to see if we can use CRISPR to knock down mosquito populations dramatically. We're also looking at CRISPR to make better seeds. We're also looking at ways that CRISPR might help us with uh, very accurate diagnostics. And uh, we're considering how the CRISPR gene editing might lead to a way of curing HIV and things like sickle cell. Using CRISPR to help cure disease is not very controversial, but using CRISPR, you could actually change the DNA that would determine your baby's eye color or skin tone. Most scientists agree that this is something that we should not do. Walter's book does a great job talking about how it's a slippery slope and raising the question of where should we draw the line and the relative role of the scientific community and governments in helping make sure that we don't cross it. There's no question uh, CRISPR is going to save a lot of lives. It's going to raise uh, issues. And so I hope you enjoy the book.